Hey, what's up, Pat? It's May 29th. I'm gonna show you guys some of my uh, little tricks for my elbow to help um, me be able to actually use it for my upper body days. Uh, currently, right now, I'm not doing any sort of flat pressing, I'm not doing any sort of downward pressing. Um, doing quite a bit of overhead, and I'm actually gonna bring back some dumbbell incline today too. Been able to do dumb, or I've been able to do incline uh, hammer strength pressing pretty fine for the chest, but um, because of the elbow, haven't been doing any flat barbell, flat dumbbell. Hopefully next week I'll begin bringing it back. Here's something I've been doing, and uh, what was wrong with my elbow is just from that little bit of tendonitis, and I think it actually stemmed from uh, elbows being a little bit too high at times and also a little bit elbows too high in terms of the uh, pulling that I've been doing. So elbows too high, I'm pushing and pulling, as well as um, my previous way too much volume of arms that I was doing. And it's a combination of all those things and other factors that I don't even know. But we're all in this endless pursuit of fixing ourselves. So here's one thing that I'm doing that uh, I've found has really helped. This is just a uh, booty floss band from Rogue Fitness. And I probably should even do this for my shoulder because I feel like my elbow issue stems from the shoulder, as lots of things do. Lots of times when you have a knee issue, it's because of your hip and so on. So I might even do this for shoulder too. But I'll wrap this up from the outside in really, really tight, especially around my elbow. And then what I'll do is I'll work it through different ranges and I'll work my uh, forearms as well to kind of floss up the uh, forearm muscles. So let me just work this to where I want it, then get it really tight around my elbow. Real tight here, real tight. There we go. It's a little bit uncomfortable, but found that this has really helped me in the past, and right now it's helping me a lot too. Shit, I hope I didn't do that too tight, oops. Oh well. No, that's actually perfect. It'll bring that back. Um, so it's really tight around the elbow. It's really tight around the tricep, or the lower tricep, and the upper forearm here. And what I'll do is I'll bring it through different ranges, all different kinds of things. Something I like to do is just lots of these. Bring my flex and extend my elbow like this. In different, different places. Do it the other way with my hand like this. Lots of different things. We get through lots of different kinds of motion. Elbow in like this. Okay. Something else I'll do is uh, I'll mimic, you know, the uh, movement that I would like to be able to do. So say I was trying to do some bench press. I'd, you know, mimic some bench press. But I'm not going to do that today. Another thing I'll do is Kind of smash, smash the uh, forearm muscles right here, and I'll work it in different places. Kind of uh, smash and release technique. So you know, five to ten seconds on, a few seconds off, or maybe just move it where I'm smashing. I'll just smash different places. Smash it with my hand up like this. Smash it with my hand down like that. Work different areas. Another thing that I might do is. Bring my elbow down like this and smash that lower tricep near where the uh, elbow is, kind of where I've been feeling a little weirdness or whatever. Another thing I might do, another thing I might do is, uh, and I haven't done this before, but, uh, bring, well, uh, you know, flex my arm like this and bring that tricep down on a bar and work it from side to side, but also from from here to here. But, uh, find different ways to beat, beat this area up. Uh, and uh, something I'll also do, you gotta be kinda quick because you know cutting off your blood circulation and whatnot. I think I'll do 
I'll do my uh, you know my upper body shoulder warm up with my band, but I'll do it while I'm voodoo, like this. So I'll just do the regular stuff, but um, just I have a full video of this, and you guys can find that. Just type in Matt Ogus upper body on YouTube, you'll find it. Just lots of stuff like this. But then, some of this stuff would actually, you know, feel a little comfortable without this on, and I'm able to do that. So, some of these, it's more comfortable now that I have this on. Pressing the whole area And of course, some of these, this would feel really uncomfortable if I didn't have this on. But with it on, compressing everything, it feels kind of fine. And, some of this way too. I'll do, some, I'll do some light dumbbell shoulder pressing like this to warm me up for the overhead press. And if I was going to be doing you know, any sort of chest exercises, I'd do some really, really light reps of whatever I wanted to do to help fix that elbow to get me ready for the bench press, dumbbell press, whatever. Shit. For example, you know, I'll work it through the place. We'll just do the movement that I like to fix. Another thing I've been doing lately to kind of help out with my uh, elbow has been to um, do this exercise I'm about to just show you right now. And I found that this helped a lot, a lot. And I do this any day but the day before an upper body day. Actually, no, I do it any day. Okay. For me particularly, because I haven't been doing any curls, so it's fine. But, Go ahead and grab a, uh, grab a bar like this. Find a good place where um, there's a bit of weight pulling me this way, but not too much, so not this far out, not this far in. Somewhere around here. Just have the elbow to the side. Slowly rotate it like this. Feels good. Bring it back nice and slow. Lately I've been doing like 5 to 10 reps a set like this. Maybe even bring my hand out further. And I've been doing that just to work my forearm muscles a little bit more, get me back into the game, and hopefully I can start you know, dumbbell pressing, uh, but also hopefully start dumbbell or curling, because I haven't been curling lately, because this motion has, been, has felt weird on the elbow. So these are just a handful of things I've been doing. Doing all this stuff has actually helped a lot. And uh, I'm actually really excited to start curling and dumbbell pressing, hopefully next week, if not sometime in June. So Hopefully some of these little things might be uh, beneficial to you. I have like 8 million other videos with tons of other great tips. Um, oh, and one other thing I'll do. You know me, you know this is standard for me, but I do lots of wall slides. I do. I never. Lots and lots of uh, wall slides, like so. And of course, guys, if it's a good idea to, you know, stop doing an exercise that has that you believe has caused you an issue, like. For me, the curling, the flat barbell pressing where I'm pulling the bar apart, I've stopped those movements to allow my body to heal. So if you have had that sort of same issue, I recommend the same thing. Hopefully you guys, some of these little pieces you may find useful for you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'll see you guys in the next video.